Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really. And I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, uh, I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too... hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us, but for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis' death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for their rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Byman's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Yay! Paima was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? <gasps> One of the sheets on that wall! Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail! Just imagine... How much more a, a whole untorn sheet would sell for! Let's grab one! The biggest one! <laughs> <laughs> 